hello, hello to all of my sea goats. I'm talking to you, Capricorns. This is Queen of Moon Rock coming to you with a full moon in Leo reading. Yes, and how it applies to each and every one of you all, sea goats, greatest of all time. Capricorn, we're going to get right into your general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. But now you know who I'm talking to, Capricorns. I am talking to my loyal creatives who are also great managers of people, money, and time, self-disciplined, self-controlled, uh, responsible, classy, ambitious. First card out of the deck is the king of pentacles. <laughs> very, very nice. All right. A lot of money coming your way, the energy of money, but what do you need to sever ties with in order to make room for it? Somebody's been asking for some things. You got to make room for it. A lot of good things are coming your way. Here we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Lover's card. Mm -hmm. Somebody been asking for the love of their life. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the King of Pentacles. Yes. So a lot of wonderful things are coming your way, Capricorn, because again, you have persevered, you have worked really, really hard, you've been dedicated to the things that you've been wanting, you know, out of life, and this is wonderful, 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 right? There's a great opportunity for you to shine your light all over the world, Capricorn. I know somebody's holding their breath like, but what, what, what next? <laughs> it's all good, literally. It's really, really all good, right? And so... That somebody has been living in fear for far too long, right? So now it's time for you to balance out your own energies. Like really, really start giving yourselves kudos and attaboys and pats on the back and stop living in fear. This is really about balance, first and foremost. This is about you being your own twin flame, right? Not looking outside of yourself for your twin flame or your better half. This is you being your own twin flame, Capricorn, and doing it because you're all a nurturer's receivers by default. You know that by now if you've been tuned into my channel divine feminine energy, men and women, Capricorns. But this is about, this is attached to Gemini. Somebody may have Gemini in their chart. And really Gemini, are the tw their symbol are the twins. Like your symbol is the sea goat. Gemini's symbol are the twins, right? Embracing both sides of yourselves. The good, the bad, the seen, unseen, known, un like embracing it all. Embracing the fact that, yes, you're loyal, hardworking, a team player, ambitious, classy, self-controlled, responsible, disciplined, all these things. But you're also embracing those times when you've been overly serious or critical or even melancholy or even unforgiving or suspicious of things, right? Because guess what? You're going to need that at times, right? You're going to need to be suspicious of things. That may help you sever ties with the situation or speak up there may be times where you may not you, hey you may say i forgive you but i'm severing ties with you for life right and that person may think that you're being unforgiving but it's not for them to decide you see what i'm saying because again you're embracing all sides of yourself and so when you do that you're actually creating um you're creating boundaries for people to respect you more right where they can just they can't do a thousand you know do something to you a thousand and one times and you say well you know i want to be the bigger person in here i'm taking the high road and then label it as classy no there needs to be boundaries so that's what i'm seeing here and i'm seeing also your intuition is on fire really really on on fire because why you're listening more to your intuition now and so again embracing yourselves even more all that nurturing you've been giving to other people you're now giving it to yourselves and so i do see if, if there if it calls for criticism it's going to be constructive feedback and that person may take it as criticism but for you you're choosing your words very remember see how you you're using what would be as low vibration energy you're using it when necessary, you're embracing both sides of yourself. You're not saying, that's not me. Well, if you take it as criticism and I'm giving you constructive feedback and I add a little buffer or disclaimer and say, hey, please don't take what I'm about to say. You did ask me for my advice, right? I'm not offering you unwarranted advice. This is what I'm seeing that the full moon in Leo is helping a lot of you all do. Really start giving yourselves a pat on the back and embracing all sides of yourselves, right? I do see somebody um, doing yoga or some kind of mindfulness exercises, um, even watsu, you know, water watsu. 
You can go look it up online. You've seen it before. You probably just didn't know what the name of it was. But I also see um, somebody has been somebody. I don't know who this is for, but somebody has really been overthinking this thing. Like really, and I understand it's a new territory that you all are in. Some of you all are in where it's just nervousness and I just want to get it right and this. But again, embrace all sides of yourselves, right? Yeah, embrace all sides of yourselves, right? So you don't have to overthink this thing because this is what's coming your way. Multiple streams of income. But again, this is just doing some tweaking. You have the, you already have the Midas touch. Money is already attracted to you. So again, this is just minor tweaking. Instead of saying, nope, that's not me. I'm not, I don't, I'm, I don't overly criticize. I don't, I'm not overly serious. No, nope, I'm not suspicious of anything. Instead of denying that part of yourself, embrace it and say, yeah, I have been that in the past. Okay, so let me tweak it a little bit. Let me tweak it a little bit, right? What else do we have here? What else do we have here? Capricorn, I love it, love it, love it for you all. Because again, these are some things that you've been asking for. So somebody is open. Yeah, nice. Okay, all right. We have the Page of Wands. Okay, again, this is Divine Masculine Energy. Somebody got that fire up under them. They're excited. They're feeling rejuvenated, feeling like a teenager again. I love it, love it, love it. Somebody's feeling almost like a kid again, like having this, this childlike faith, like really starting to believe in their dreams again. I love it. Somebody has applied for a job. They got it. They, they restored your faith, you know. Somebody wrote a book. Somebody, you know, started a YouTube channel starting to get some traction on that YouTube channel or you're on your social media, your business is starting to do, you know, look up and somebody's starting to believe in themselves again. Here we have the six of cups. Again, you have this childlike faith. I love it, love it, love it. Especially, but somebody had to be bitten by a couple of snakes. Now this snake energy is not bad energy because nobody, you didn't die from it, right? Obviously, if you're watching this channel, you didn't die from it, right? But Somebody had to be bitten by a snake just to kind of sort of just get you out of that comfort zone of like, well, I'm just going to do this for the rest of my life. And I guess that's all it is. Somebody had to be jolted. And that jolt could have came from anywhere. It could have been high or low vibrating energy kind of giving you that inspiration to just get out of that comfort zone. So somebody's learning how to trust their intuition again. Again, we're talking about full moon in Leo. Yes, as it relates to your reading. So there's a lot of emotion here, but you got the king and queen of pentacles, right? So if you're in a relationship with somebody, both of you all, just because of you did this one thing and learn how to balance out your own energy and embrace all sides of yourselves, Capricorn, happiness in the household, if you're already with your person, you making money, they making money, both of y'all got the Midas touch, both of y'all bringing money in because of your heart, you know what I'm saying? Like both of you all are admitted, like, yeah, yeah, I don't have an issue with money. <laughs> But see, in the past, somebody may have been distracted so much so that you were blocking your happiness, your peace, your money, everything. This is what's behind this vault door right here. It's not just money behind. It's a lot. Everything that you want is behind the vault door because somebody was distracted by what this energy right here did. Snake energy. Now, some people, it's been a long time. Some people just don't trust anybody just because, oh, I, last time I trusted somebody, somebody had an ulterior motive. So, believe it or not, being bitten by this energy also contaminates you. Remember, you may have encountered snakes, Capricorn, but to somebody, you are a snake too. And snake energy simply means, or serpent energy just simply means death, rebirth. That's all it is. It's rebirth. So, you can label it as like, oh, that person is just a snake. I'll never trust anybody again, but it woke you up, right? So, somebody, and, and it also, as this snake is slithering, it's also requiring wisdom, right so somebody may think that you out you know you out thought them or you 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 know oh this person you know they they outsmarted me or whatever the case may be so again you're embracing all sides of your, yourselves and also like i said using your voice to speak into existence what you want being more vocal about things so people don't view you as a snake not in a negative light either here we have the six of pentacles so i see more money coming your way right don't despise it if it's not a large sum of money up front just say okay all right i need to start believing in myself first okay i'm getting a little bit of money here let me just start what else do i need to sever ties with what do i what else do i need to what other parts of myself do i need to embrace and, and accept 
that part of myself, right? What adjustments do I need to make? The temperance card. Yeah. Somebody, again, is putting fire. This is divine masculine energy. This temperance card is attached to um, Sagittarius. So somebody may have Sagittarius in their chart, Capricorn, whereas, or somebody could be right on the cuff, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy, but something is putting a fire up under you, and it's not like a blazing flame. It's kind of keeping you warm, like pushing you and giving you like a gentle nudge, moving you in the, in the right direction. So anybody who's wondering if they were heading in the right direction, yes, you are. Yes, you are headed in the right direction. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to say this again. I want you all to be very, very careful about people reaching out to you, asking for donations. We do not do that. You will never receive a phone call from me or members of my team asking you for a donation. So somebody, and again, I, I, I have you guys to thank, my subscribers, for just alerting me. I, I, y'all can't, y'all don't even know how many DMs or text messages, you know, that I get and people saying, well, and it's not just my channel. You know, I could say if it was just people just targeting just my channel, but I want to make sure you all really, um, beware of that. Or if somebody's offering to send you a free gift for anything and it didn't come through and they're posing as me or somebody from my team, please alert me because I don't want you all to give out your address to anybody without, first especially if they're using you know our name um this um for that here we have giving is more important than winning okay then we have the more joy you are open to receiving the less you'll need to have any boundaries at all there you go all right all right all right all right yes protect your energy capricorn protect your energy I know people get excited when they hear from YouTubers or they think, you know, like you get shout outs and things on there, but we also have to protect ourselves too. So just in case somebody's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, <laughs> listen, some of you all don't even know the half. Okay. When you start a business, whether it's on social media, whether it is a storefront business or whatever, you just got to beware, like just really protect your energy at all costs. Here we have, have faith in your dreams. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's you know, nothing that I say by is by coincidence. That's why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you all so you can see me shuffling the cards. But again, have faith in your dreams. Just because you got people out here that's trying to take advantage of people or whatever, doesn't mean that you have to stop your dreams, be nervous and scared. Oh, I can't do this because this may happen, or that may happen, or this may happen, or that may happen. Let people create their own karma. Let people create their own karma, Capricorn, while you continue vibrating high and embracing all sides of yourselves and keep that warm flame up under you, keeping you moving forward. And just let, like I said, I'm a firm believer, let people create their own karma. Create art. That's what somebody is doing. Somebody could be a singer. Somebody could be a dancer. Somebody could be a rapper, whatever. Somebody could be a writer. Somebody could be a... Um, you know, could write poetry, could write their first book. Um, but again, I'm seeing somebody create, somebody could, you know, be a painter or whatever. But again, I see somebody creating art and the number eight is attached to this. One plus seven is eight. Go watch my knowledge channel for the number eight to get more information on the the vibration of the number eight when it's aligned versus when it's out of alignment, what that looks like. For you all but again this is what i'm saying for you all capricorns like i said keep persevering keep being dedicated to your dreams have faith in your dreams while you're embracing all sides of yourself because this makes you so much more attractive especially if you've been looking for if you've been asking for you know love to come into your like romantic love to come into your life don't go by all the snakes that you've encountered in the past and say ah oh, is there any good people out here of course there are you're a good person right so now it's time to speak it into existence and, and be you know like have more communication speak it say it out of your mouth that is what i have for you i'll see you in a couple of days bye